Hi, this is Mark Berkey with Berkey Academy, and today in this GIS tips and tricks video, I'm responding to a request from a viewer who wanted me to talk about these second two, number two and three uh, tricks here, and I'm going to add number one because it'll make uh, doing this whole thing a little fun. So in, in this video, we're going to do three kind of tricks using map window 4 which is a free GIS program I show you in other videos on berkeyacademy.com how to download it and uh, some of the basics about map window but what we're going to do today is we're going to take a map and we're going to add a shape uh, and I'll show you how you, we can add a circle or a hexagon or a rectangle uh, and, and make it a mappable object and so that's what we're going to do first uh, the viewer wanted me to to do items two and three and asked how can I cut out only the unique part from two shapes so if you have two overlapping regions how can you cut out only the unique part of one of those regions and then the other thing that this viewer wanted to do was to find the centroid of that unique part so that's what we're going to do let's go ahead and get started and do these three things here so let me bring up my uh, map window here. So uh, in map window, I have already loaded a shape. And uh, this is an outline of several counties in the state of North Carolina in the United States. And I just brought this up as a, a random shape. And suppose what we want to do is uh, cut part of this out because it overlapped with another region. Well, I don't have a convenient region that, that I, I have handy that could overlap that I would want to cut out, so we're going to create one. So item one on our list is I wanted to show you how we can create a mappable shape. We could do a hexagon, a circle, an ellipse, or a rectangle, something like that. So in map window, uh, what you want to do is, is load some kind of map first because map window needs to know where to put this shape at what longitude and latitude do you want this mappable shape object to be and the tool we're going to use here is um, if you go to plugins there's a plugin called shapefile editor and so when you click shapefile editor this little uh, indicator over here will turn green and we will get a, an additional menu option, shapefile editor, and some new little buttons pop up here. Some new little options on our menu bar pop up. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a new separate shapefile. And this little toolbar here will do it. So this is part of the shapefile editor uh, toolbar. So click new. And we're going to give this new shapefile a file name. However, what you want to do is you want to tell it where you want to save it. So I'm going to, instead of ty just typing a file name, I'm going to click this little uh, box with three dots here, and I am going to give it a name and tell it what kind of um, what what subfolder I want it to be in. So what I'm going to do is here I'm going to make a hexagon. And you see, I've already you've, I've already made a hexagon. Let me call this hexagon two. Save. And what kind of shape file type do we want? Do we want it to just indicate a point on the map? No. What we we don't. What we want it to be is a polygon because we're going to create a polygon that's a hexagon. So tell it the shape file type is a polygon. Okay. Now, map window warns us here. It tells us an empty shape file has been created, but before we add a shape to have another map already loaded so that it knows where on the, the earth we want this shape to be located. So let's click OK. Now what we want to do is click insert here and you see these little pictures of shapes up here. So and it's the little tooltip says add a new regular shape to the current shape file. And here you can you can select either an n-sided polygon, so that could be a square or a pentagon or a hexagon or an octagon. And I'm telling it to that I want six sides for a hexagon. And you have to tell it what length you want the side to be. 
Now, I think since this map I have already loaded is in degrees, it wants me to tell it the length of a side in those units, in degrees. So I'm going to tell it one half of one degree. So I'm going to type 0 0.5 degrees. And then it says choose the shape to add. And you, well, you see here we could do circle, ellipse, or rectangle. Okay, so we're just going to do this uh, hexagon. And it says after you specify what you want, just click somewhere over here on the map and it will add that shape. So let me move this little box down here. And I'm going to click on the map, and I want the center of the hexagon maybe to be here in the upper left. Okay, so it just it just created a new shape file with a hexagon. Now, what we want, what we might want to do, I don't know why, but what we might want to do is, um, I'll click done, and let me drag the map down here. We might want to remove this. Um, part of these counties that is overlapped by the hexagon. Now this could be some kind of planning region or it could be some kind of uh, national park that we want to remove from this region. I just created that so that I had two overlapping regions. That was the main goal for me. Uh, but I can see some other interesting applications of this. Now, uh, so let's, let's just look at what we did again real quickly here. So we we have these counties over here and we created a hexagon that overlaps part just a little part of those counties up there okay so now what we want to do is we want to use this hexagon like a cookie cutter to cut out this overlapping part right here okay so in order to do that what we're going to use is called let me go back to our uh, our little handout here what we're going to use is a a tool from the toolbox that comes with map window automatically and the tool we're going to use is under the submenu overlays and it's called clipping okay so let's go find that and see how that tool works so to get to the toolbox, you would never know it's here if you didn't know to look. There's this little, here, let me let me drag this over here so you can see since where I'm recording didn't include that little area. So over here is the layers section where you can click to show or hide layers. But the second little tab beside that is the toolbox tab. So let's click that and this shows you a list of many different tools that come with map window. And as I said, the one we're going to use, it's under the sub menu called uh, overlays. So it's under vector operations, overlays, clipping. And let's double click the clipping part here. And so you want to select a shape file and the shape file I am going to select is the one called Triad County. That is the one that is the outline of several counties here. So the, the beige one. Then what we're going to do is, is select the clipping file. And the clipping file is the one that is going to act like a cutter, a cookie cutter. And it's going to cut part of the other shape out. So that one's going to be hexagon 2. And so anything in this shape that is covered up by this shape is going to be removed. Anything covered up by the hexagon. Now we have to tell it where we want it to save this file. So we want it to be, and we're going we're gonna to give it a name. So just call it, you know, County Clipped. Or any name that you want to give it, save. And then let's hit OK. And it so what it has just done is it has created a new shape file, a new map file called uh, County Clipped. And it asks us, do we want to add the new layer to the map? Well, yeah, we do. Let's look and see what this thing looks like here. And let's go back to our layers toolbox here. And let's see what we did when we did County Clipped. Oh, what we did is we cut out that corner that was underneath the hexagon. 
So we, we use that like a cookie cutter to see where those two things intersect and uh, to cut out the part that we wanted. Now, suppose we that's not the result that we wanted. Suppose instead of cutting this part off and only keeping this part, suppose we wanted to keep the other part. So let me... Um, let me show you what I'm what I'm talking about here. Suppose we wanted to cut that red part off but keep the remainder. Well there are a couple of ways we could do that. Let me show you um, how we could do that real quickly. So there's there's another tool right below clipping here called difference. So if you didn't want to just cut out and keep the part that overlapped, let's go back to our layers. So if you didn't want to only keep that little red part where the uh, hexagon and the other part overlapped, if, if instead you wanted to chop that part off and keep the remainder to keep only the brown part that's visible now, then the tool we would want to use is called difference. So that's the tool right below clipping. So let's see the, the different result that the difference tool gives us here. So let's clean up our layers. Let's <clears throat> remove that red part. So, so let's take that hexagon and instead of using it to cut out and keep the part that overlaps, let's cut it off permanently from this other side. So let's use the difference tool. So the difference tool works very similarly. So I just double clicked the difference uh, tool here and the shape file is Triad County. The clipping file again is Hexagon 2 and let's give it a name. So it, let's give it a name, the, um, so let's say County instead of clipped, let's say County Difference here. Okay, do we want to add the new layer to the map? Sure. Okay, now let's go back to our Layers tab and let's see what we got here. Let's remove the hexagon from view. And now we can see what happened there is we... Whoop, let me try to bring up the original... Okay. So the original file is is behind there. So we can we can see here. So this is the original file that we started with, and now what we have kept is um, only that difference. Only that difference between the two. Now wait a minute. I think I I think I clipped the wrong one instead of. Ah, okay. I clipped a different file, but that's okay. The The file I actually clipped here was one that uh, had the, the county boundaries on there. Let me show you. So that's okay. No matter. Same kind of thing. Uh, let me do it. Let me do it with the shape that I had because uh, the next part I need to have one, uh, one area that I want to find the centroid from. So let me redo that very quickly here. So I want to take this one and I want to clip it. I mean, sorry, I want to do the difference with the hexagon. So I want to do the difference with these two. Once again, click difference. I should have selected triad dissolve. That's the, that's the shape file that is this one large shape that I have. And we want to click it with hexagon two. And we want to save it to, let's see, I'll call this just something different, triad difference. Triad difference. Save, OK, add it to the map, yes. OK, so now let's go back to our Layers tab, and we can see what we did here. Let's get rid of the hexagon. Let's get rid of that. And now we can see clearly where that hexagon cut part of the county out. 
and we can drag this up on top to, to get a visualization of, of what it cut out there again. Okay, so now we have this um, triad difference file. Let's remove everything else there. And so now that you have the shape file, you can find the centroid just like you would with any other with any other shape file pretty easy so uh, if you I have another video showing how to do that but let's just do it real quickly go to toolbox and we want to find the tool called it's under vector operations standard create centroids and we only have one shape here uh, that we're going to create a centroid for and so you can uh, choose whether you want the centroid or the center. I have a video talking about the difference between those two uh, already. And um, you can select which fields you want to keep with the new file that's only going to have the centroid in it. Anyway, we can just... So let's call this triad difference centroid you always want to try to come up with a, uh, a name of your shape file that actually tells you something about what it means. And hmm, that is not what I wanted to happen. It created one centroid for each of the counties. I must have selected the wrong file again. Yes, I did. I apologize. I selected the file with all the counties I wanted to select. I've got, this is a problem with having too many shapes loaded. I wanted the triad difference. Uh, and then it will only give us one centroid. Go back to our layers and remove those centroids. So that, that just gives us the one centroid, and it's going to give us the centroid of the new shape, not the old shape. Now how could we make sure that this is giving us the centroid of this new clipped shape and not the um, not the centroid of the old shape that included that well let's let's calculate the centroid of the old one here uh, just to see if they are different and they should be so let's do um, So we want to do the triad dissolve is the um, file that was not cut off or difference there. So and then we're going to add that to the map. And you can see the difference between those two centroids. The one where we have cut off that corner is definitely further to the southeast, just as it should have been. And so that wraps up the goals for this for this video. About how can we make a random shape? We made that hexagon. How can we cut out only the unique part from two shapes? And we saw two ways to do it. One using the clipping tool if you want to keep uh, the say the intersection of the two shapes but I guess if, if you want to actually just keep the unique part uh, of the two shapes instead of using the cliff clipping tool you want to use the difference tool uh, and then we found the centroid of the unique part and we saw that it was different than the whole part so this is Berkey Academy as always if you have questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below feel free to contact me and I'll try to help if I can Good luck with your work in GIS.